Welcome to this initial tutorial on Digitalis 3D. This will be a quick overview of the components that make up this plugin. So first, the Lattice panel contains the components which support the initial definition of Lattice topologies. Some of these components, such as the unit cell component and the uniform lattice component, draw directly from the plugin intra lattice, which is here, um, and which comes with a number of very nice features to draw lattice structures. So the unit cell component controls the choice of unit cell types that will make up the lattice. So if we preview them here, we can see that they come in a variety of shapes um, associated with different number of nodes, different number of struts, um, and different directionalities for these struts. Then the uniform lattice component is used to populate a geometrical design space with identical unit cells. So the type of topologies is defined from this unit cell component and then the design space, which is here, corresponds to the outer shape of the lattice structure we want to build. So it can be a cube, a sphere, any kind of closed surface. So for example, um, if we take this kind of very arbitrary outer shape, so this kind of cuboid, um, and then preview the design, this is the kind of structure we can obtain. So you can also define the orientation plane of your construct uh, or leave it as the default. So here, depending on the topology we choose, we will end up with different kinds of lattice structures. Obviously, it's also really dependent on the size of the cells. So if we try and make them a bit smaller than they are at the moment, here, and then have another look, yeah, we get a much more fine lattice. And so we can end up with a very high number of different types of structures. So as I just said, this uniform lattice component is adapted from the open source plugin Intra Lattice, whose references are given in the description of this tutorial but it was modified so that it could output the definition of this lattice um, in a way that can be translated to nodes, struts, cells, um, and that can be stored and used for future applications. So this can be done using the cellular analysis component, which is here. Um, and the different elements of this definition can then be exported to text files. So if we plug the cellular architecture into cellular analysis, uh, we can then export all these components, nodes, strut nodes, cell nodes, uh, strut hosts, these kind of elements, into text file using the um, right scaffold component. And so these will be plugged into the corresponding uh, inputs in the other one. Now, to use the definition of these lattices at a later stage, we can then read from the text files using um, this read scaffold component in the utilities tab. There are also other ways to build non-homogeneous lattices um, still in the lattice or panel. Um, for example, the arbitrary lattice component, um, and the network lattice component. There is also a lattice randomizer to try and add uh, some random noise to the position of nodes and make it less regular. For a working example of what this tutorial just showed, you can download the lattice canvas, which is associated with this video. And it looks like this. you will see again uh, in a slightly more structured way um, the different steps to build and store a lattice definition. 